In today's video, we're looking at something a little bit different for this channel again, and that is a pair of binoculars. So why am I looking at binoculars? Simple, I'm really into wildlife photography, and I could do with some binoculars, but I've also got a philosophy that extends beyond binoculars. I call it the happy compromise. And what I wanted essentially was something that was A, inexpensive, but B, decent quality. And k and actually sent me these binoculars in exchange for a review. So I've got to be totally honest with you. However, they don't get to see this review before it goes out. They don't get to edit it. It is all my honest thoughts and opinions. We are going to take them out into the field. And then in a few months time on my other channel, The Wild With Luke, we're going to take these to some awesome places, specifically South Africa on a safari. And I'm going to give you a more in-depth review. Like many lenses and filters, these binoculars also have coatings on as well. These coatings will help improve the quality of the image and they can help sort of protect against, against uh, UV rays and stuff like that as well. They only weigh 230 grams. They fit in the palm of your hand and they're really lightweight. The rubber is environmentally friendly and it's a frosted texture. This is supposed to help eliminate odor and it's a very pleasant texture actually. It's a really nice rugged build. The other thing is as well, like I mentioned, IP65, this is a very, very good rating. It's a very, it's very confident to know that you can bring these out into the rain and you're gonna be okay with that. It's gonna be fine. k and say that these are actually HD transmission, which I think is just fancy talk for the very clear. Now comparing these to my old Olympus binoculars, I'd say that basically on par, and those Olympic, uh, Olympus binoculars, sorry, were about three times the price. I would, I would say the Olympus might have been a tiny bit sharper, but there's not much in it. And considering these are, I think, under 40 pounds, it's a really, really good price. Now, these binoculars are also supposed to have a 99% maximum restoration of the picture quality, which I just think means the picture is gonna look very, very good for, through them, and they do. I would say it's, it's not super contrasty, it's maybe a tiny bit flat compared to the human eye, but again, these are very, very tiny sort of differences. Uh, this is me just sort of nitpicking essentially. I would say for the price, these are great. I don't believe in spending lots and lots of money to get good quality. And these are a good example of that. Can you hear, can you hear the cat going crazy over here? <laughs> So there's loads of cats in here and they're all just running around. I'm really impressed with these binoculars. I didn't want to spend the type of money I was spending on an Olympus pair of binoculars. And yes, they were very good binoculars, but I feel like these are so good for the price to, to spend under, I think they're under 30 pounds actually. I said under 40 earlier. I think they're under 30 pounds and they're so good and they're really rugged. They're not completely perfect, but again, it's a happy compromise. I think areas of improvement which they could do are definitely, definitely get rid of that neck strap and put something better in the box. It's a really terrible neck strap. It's a thin piece of material. There's not enough of the material. And even though they're very light binoculars, if you're gonna have these on your neck all day, I could imagine that could become a bit of an issue. I would also like them to put some sort of eye cup on there to protect the front or and rear elements as well because we don't want them getting scratched or fingerprints all over them. But again, guys, under £30, it's a really, really, it's a bit of a no-brainer, to be honest. So who are these for? Well, these are for fellow passionate wildlife photographers. And if you want to bring someone with you on your wildlife adventures, you can have someone doing that spotting with you and it's really cool. Or if you want to go out and do scouting missions as well. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and The Wild With Luke for a more in-depth review in a few months time. Hit the sub button, hit the like button and keep notified for all my future videos. I'll catch you all next time. See ya.